If you're looking at fitting a few sheets of plasterboard, I'm going to show you a few basic tips. We're working on new framing here, so everything's straight, clean, ready to go. I'll take you through measuring up of the sheets, how to fit them, how to cut them, and how to cut holes for power points and light switches. Where you need screws, glue, how to use a glue gun, and when it's all up, we'll show you how to fill the joints and finish it off ready for painting. Just like that. Now the first thing we want to do is measure up your wall. Right, the next thing we want to do is measure out our sheet. Now we need to use our ruler or straight edge, put that on the marks. We just make a nice little score, good sharp knife. Take it nice and easy. Now we've cut it on the front, we're now going to snap it on the back. Now that was a straight line. If you want to cut around a doorway, I'm going to show you how to do it. Mark out as per usual. Now use your straight edge on one side of the cut. Make a nice clean cut with a nice sharp knife. And you can score your second mark with your knife as well. That'll give you a nice clean cut. But so finish that off with a handsaw. Now if you do have an old handsaw, now's the time to use it. Snap it off. Now it's a good idea to do a dry fit to make sure this fits before we actually fix it to the wall. Also it's a great idea to throw a couple of packers on the floor, this will keep the plasterboard off the floor. At this point, just throw a little pencil mark where our plasterboard hits the studs. This will give us an idea before we start gluing. Now we're going to put our glue about 300 millimetres apart, but before we do that, here's a little tip for you. You can take the end off your drink bottle. This little puppy here goes on the end of your glue gun. Now this will create the perfect size dob of glue. And just gently press exactly where your glue is. Now's a good time just to check that your sheet's level. When fixing plasterboard, you only want to screw around the outside edge. Sheets can go vertically or horizontally, but horizontal fixing provides a better finish. Now on a second sheet, we're going to measure out for our power point. So we're just going to measure that up. We're just going to measure on the inside of our flush box there, 625. Now measuring off the bottom sheet, we're going to measure just to the underside of our screw holes and just to the top. The next thing we're going to do is chop our hole out for the keyhole saw. Fit our second sheet, making sure our flush box is looking good. Now when putting screws in plasterboard, we have to get it just right. If we put it in too deep, you're going to punch the face of the plasterboard. If we have it sticking out too far, we're going to have problems when we come to stop it. Now I'm going to show you how to stop a joint. Next take the stopping compound with your broad knife, put that on your trowel and apply nice and smooth. Put your paper tape into your compound. Now you want to do this before the compound starts to dry. Next apply the second coat of compound over the paper tape. And make sure you get all the bubbles out. Give it 24 hours to dry, then give it a light sand. Now put on the finishing coat.
of finer light sand. Now we're ready to paint. If you're redoing a room, shoot down and talk to someone at Mitre 10 and check out the Easy Air stand. If you're renovating and considering moving walls or altering framing, you may need a building consent. If this is the case, you'll need to use a licensed building practitioner to sign off the work you've done.